Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Maddie and I'm a homemaker and a young mom to two under two. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys along with me as I try out three new dinner recipes. Subscribe to this channel for more videos on Christian lifestyle, homemaking, and motherhood. This first recipe is a chicken Thai curry soup from Salt and Lavender, and the original recipe will be linked in the description below. However, I changed this recipe into a slow cooker crock pot recipe, and it turned out really well. I started with chicken breast in the crock pot, added some chicken broth, and then four heaping tablespoons of red curry paste. Next, I added a can of coconut milk and then I used some lime juice. I honestly don't know how much I added. I just used what was left in that bottle and then added some fresh cilantro. Basil, salt and pepper. I used onion powder instead of real onion just because I don't like the taste of real onion, especially in soups. And lastly, one teaspoon of ginger and three cloves of garlic. Once the chicken was cooked, I took it out, shredded it, and then added it back to the pot. Then all that was left to do was to add the pad thai noodles and I just let it cook for about 10 minutes or so until they were tender and that was it. This recipe was super good and I will definitely be making it again. Next, I made a turkey and ricotta meatball with spinach alfredo sauce meal. This is from Chef Jar. It will be linked in the description below. I did have to modify it a little bit, but this was one of the best meals, best things I've eaten, not just made, but eaten in a long time. It was so good. You start with a half cup of Italian breadcrumbs and a half cup of milk and let those breadcrumbs soak in the milk for a little bit. Then the recipe calls for one medium onion. I had a very large onion and again, I don't really care for onions, so I honestly don't know how much I did, but I just roughly chopped a little bit of it and threw it in the food processor. Three cloves of garlic and the recipe calls for a fourth cup of fresh parsley. I just used two teaspoons of dried parsley and it worked out really well. I left out the sun-dried tomatoes, but this is where you would add them to the recipe. Then it calls for three fourths cup of ricotta cheese and then a third cup of Parmesan cheese, one egg, salt, and a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Add your food processor mixture and the recipe calls for one and a half pound of ground turkey. I just used one pound and it made plenty. However, even with using less turkey than the recipe called for, I still had to add a lot more breadcrumbs because the mixture was just too wet and you couldn't even form a ball. So you can see here that I added quite a good bit. Bake the meatballs at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 to 20 minutes. Next, I made rice in a two to one ratio. Then for the spinach alfredo sauce, I left out the bacon because I don't eat bacon, but it calls for four tablespoons of butter, two garlic cloves, which I just used garlic powder instead, one and a half cup of heavy cream, a half teaspoon of salt, a fourth teaspoon of pepper, two cups of Parmesan cheese, and then five ounces of spinach. I just eyeballed it. I really don't know how much I added. One thing I added to the recipe was two teaspoons of parsley. You'll cook this on medium heat until all melted and combined, and that is it. And lastly, I made a hot honey pizza with ricotta, and this is one that I pretty much made up along the way. However, I do use Sugar Spun Run's pizza dough recipe which I've already showed on my channel if you want to play by play. I also scaled down the pizza dough recipe for my daughter using whole wheat flour and no added sugar to the recipe. So that's what you see in the background. I love making homemade pizza. It's so simple so please do not let making your own dough intimidate you. Once the dough is made it's as simple as sauce, cheese, and toppings. For this recipe I made a quick and simple hot honey sauce using hot sauce and honey melted it in the microwave and then poured it on top of the sauce. That is not the correct or traditional way to make hot honey sauce, but it works. For toppings, I used cheese, turkey pepperoni, and then I also crumbled up some of the leftover meatballs from the previous recipe. And lastly, I put some dollops of ricotta cheese and baked it at 425 for 15 minutes. That is it for this video today. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and then comment down below if you try any of these recipes and how you like them. And then don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos on Christian lifestyle, homemaking, and motherhood.